It was 1975, and the Lebanese Civil War had begun. In 15 years of fighting between Muslims and Christians, over 100,000 people died in a war that nearly destroyed Lebanon. Jerry Rassamni vividly remembers when the war came to his mountain village of Shwefet. People were slaughtered because of the religion. There was so much hatred. I remember growing up practically in a bomb shelter. Bomb shelters and daily bombings were a fact of life. And uh, the enemy was at the gate and he wanted me dead. As a Druze Muslim, Jerry's fear of the enemy turned to hatred. Christians were bombing us daily. And I really uh, thought that they were the devil incarnate. Um, I hated them with such passion. And if I hated uh, the Christians, I hated the Jews ten times more. Eventually, Jerry joined the militia and entered the fighting. I had to defend my land and my existence. I had to kill or be killed. Pretty soon, gunpowder became my outlet, my escape, my addiction. Sometimes manifested itself in an AK-47 assault rifle. Sometimes it was a hand grenade, a landmine. Whatever it was, it had gunpowder in it. In time, however, the atrocities of war led Jerry to question his Islamic beliefs. I saw the unrestrained evil that man is capable of. And when religion tells you that man is basically good, it is a lie of colossal dimensions. For I saw the true heart of man and I was changed by the horrors of it. I remember seeing men lying on the streets in pools of their own blood, no better than dogs. I began to see that there is nothing redeeming about man. How could man who is capable of such overwhelming evil have goodness in his heart and evil at the periphery as Islam claims? Isn't it the other way around? After three years of fighting, Jerry realized that the war was pointless, and so did his mother. She feared for her son's life and produced fake paperwork to get Jerry and his brother out of the country. Months later, Jerry started a new chapter in his life in America. This is what I have dreamt about, uh, you know, all of my life coming over to this country that represents freedom, represents liberty. I came from a country uh, where I was, basically, I didn't have a lot of freedoms because of the war. Soon he met a young woman and fell in love, but she was a Christian. When I first laid eyes on her, something happened in my heart. It was love at first sight. I knew that she's the one for me. And the fact that uh, she was a Christian, I turned a blind eye to that because I was so blinded by love. Within months, Jerry proposed to Jennifer. I knew at 19 years of age to pray and ask the Lord if it was His will for me to marry Jerry. And uh, after much prayer, I finally had a peace about it. But my conditions were that we would attend church as a family and that our future children would be uh, raised Christian. Jerry agreed to the conditions, but vowed never to convert to Christianity. He said, I told you I would never convert. I was born Druze Muslim. I'm going to die Druze Muslim. And not anything you could say or do is going to change that. So um, I just, I never said another word and just began to pray. As Jennifer prayed, Jerry studied the Bible. He wanted to disprove its claims. Instead, he began to see fundamental differences between Islam and Christianity. As I began to examine the scriptures, I came across some revolutionary teachings. In the 99 excellent names of Allah and Islam, not one is love, not one is father. But I read about a God who loved mankind so much even after they rebelled against him, that he made a way that we could come before him and call him Abba. This was not the God of Islam. And so, during a Sunday morning church service in October of 1998, Jerry Rasamni stepped forward and accepted Jesus as his Lord and Savior. It was as though the scales had fallen from my eyes, as though I could see for the first time that God was guarding me and protecting my life all these years when I should have been six feet under. He was guarding me for such a time as this. Their lives have never been the same. After I accepted Christ, we truly became one. We worshiped the Lord together. 
It's a wonderful blessing that Jerry came to know the Lord before we started our family. Jerry tells his life's journey from the killing fields of Lebanon to the loving arms of Jesus Christ in his book, From Jihad to Jesus. He knows that God has a plan to reach Muslims with the gospel. God says, in the last days, I will pour out my spirit on all people. He said, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. And we are seeing fulfillment of Joel 228 in the Muslim world all over, where people in Islam are seeing visions and dreams of Christ, and they're coming out of darkness into light. Jerry is truly grateful for his life's journey. I should have spent eternity in hell. That's where I belong. But God, in his infinite mercy, sent his son to die in my place so that I don't have to spend eternity in hell. And it's through nothing that I do, but it's through what the Savior has done on the cross for me 2,000 years ago.